Okay, um, in this video, we're going to be looking at a very specific problem. We've got the parabola x equals y squared plus 5, and we want to find the values of k such that y equals kx is a tangent to the curve. So I'm going to do a sketch, I'm going to sketch it first just to show you what's going on. So y is equal to, uh, sorry, x is equal to y squared plus 5. Now if you rearrange that, that's x minus 5 is equal to y squared. So this is x equals y squared, which has been translated by the vector 5, 0. So it's a parabola that looks like this, going through 5 on the x-axis. So this is my curve, y is equal to, uh, sorry, x is equal to y squared plus 5. Now, what we're looking at are equations y is equal to kx. So they are equations that go through the origin. And we want to find the value of k so that they are tangent to this curve. Okay, so I want to work out the values of k that will make those lines that are tangent to the curve. So I'm going to substitute in y equals kx into this equation. That will determine where they intersect. So I'm going to have x is equal to y squared, which is now kx. So kx squared plus 5. I'm going to want to expand this. So x is equal to k squared x squared plus 5. Put it all onto one side of the equation. So 0 is equal to k squared x squared minus x plus 5. Now, I want um, these to be tangent lines, so I'm going to need the discriminant of this equation to be equal to 0. So b squared minus 4ac equals 0. So a is k squared, b is minus 1, and c is 5. So b is minus 1, so I get minus 1 squared, so that's, my, that's just 1. Take away 4 lots of k squared times 5 equals 0. So, that means 1 take away 20k squared is 0. So if I reorganise this, that means that k squared is 1 over 20. So if k squared is 1 over 20, then k is equal to plus or minus the square root of 1 over 20. Okay? Now, calculator can uh, rationalise the denominator for us. So this is plus or minus uh, root 5 over 10. So that means that this equation is y is equal to root 5 over 10x, and this equation is y is equal to minus root 5 over 10x. Okay? And that's how we can work out the equations of those lines.